And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Gangplank Burn. It's been a little bit since we've played a um, you know Noxus Burn style deck with Crimson Disciple, Legion Grenadier, all those kind of cards decimate. Um, we're going to try this one again. Of course, those are the two cards that did get nerfed, I suppose. Um, I, I honestly think this was probably buffed, actually. I think that this is actually an increase um, in Grenadier being 2 health is better than dealing 2 damage. But, of course, Crimson Disciple definitely nerfed, only doing 1 damage now. But yeah, we're going to play a burn style deck, getting our 9 1 drops. A um, bunch of 2 drops, trying to be real aggressive and... Um, trying to finish the game out with Decimates. With um, We're going to try one Captain Farron just at the real top end to just create even more Decimates and finish the game out like that. Zap Sprayfin um, is in here that always draws either Make It Rain or Noxion Fervor. Those are our two spells they can draw, so it's always drawing burn spells for us. Plus has the Elusive Body as well. Um, going Petty Officers, I could honestly see playing some number of island navigator <clears throat> that would really help your misfortune level up instead of petty officer but petty officer with the with the powder keg can be great with misfortune um or you know like your fervor or make it rain you know it, it can be great with that or you know you can just get another one drop and just you know keep attacking and putting a bunch of pressure on with that um but uh yeah, so let's let's give this a try. Gangplank burn. Oh, what were you gonna say, Cabo? Ooh, Fiora alone. Fiora alone's really good. We're gonna try to curve out. Hey, Broken Arrow. This is a little awkward with Saboteur into Imperial Demolitionist. Being our one and two. Everything's in place. Behind ya. It's a little awkward. I think I probably still play Demo. Well, no, I guess I can save the spell mana for Decimate, I guess. got a good start. That tough card is definitely going to come into play against Misfortune. I was hoping like Misfortune would be able to like shut down barrier and things like that. The finest blade. Oh, blade keeper. I need only one to win. So this is only 5 damage. Put them down to 12, but then... Maybe I should have kept Sprayfin. Noxion, like, my best draw is probably Noxion Fervor. Yeah, like, Noxion Fervor is my best draw. Like, that's the card that I want to be drawing. Sprayfin would, would have given me a chance to draw it. You know, 50-50 chance. But Noxion Fervor keeps their Fiora from, you know, killing whatever. Wow. That was definitely not better to block that thing than this thing. Well, I got two extra damage in than, than what I thought I was going to get. So down to ten. We do have, you know, ten damage here with Demolitionist and Decimates. Without even having to use the Powder Keg. Let them eat so. oh, God. 
All right, so if they have single combat, concerted strike, or relentless pursuit, they win. If they don't, we win. Okay, they did. They win. That's why I need Noxion Fervor to, you know, protect against that stuff and just be able to do three damage to them. Good hand. With Fiora there. And the Blade Keeper was really nice of you know helping the helping that thing stay alive and then also like everything they had was good. Alright, we're going to just keep this. Karma Thrash. Do you want a one drop to be able to attack on turn one? So I guess we can mulligan mulligan try to hit a one drop. Nine one drops can find one. I'll try any one you want. Yeah, this is kind of weird, right? We are playing like the the deck that's like with all this life gain and stuff, like you know, Karma Thresh. Like, what are the odds of us playing against Karma Thresh? Right? <laughs> like, people don't really play Karma Thresh. But yeah, they got all the Grass the Undyings and Withering Whales, and so, you know, we're trying to play a burn deck, and we just get paired against this random deck that has, you know, usually a ridiculous amount of life gain. I don't think that Fiora deck is necessarily a bad matchup. I mean, it it kind of like the games kind of have to play like that for them to win. We have, um, you know, if, if their deck stumbles at all at finding Fiora, we're just going to be too fast. One, and then we also have we also have Noxion Fervors, which are amazing in that matchup. But you know, we didn't have that. It's so, like they. They didn't stumble, they had a perfect hand, and I didn't have any Noxion Fervor, and so we lost. But I don't necessarily think that's a a bad matchup, because you kind of need that combination of things to happen. Yeah, their plan's Thresh. I'm going to cast to make it rain right now. That's two bodies dying for Thresh. Thresh already levels up twice. And I'm going to attack out. Alright, down to eight. Because we are the burn deck. I'll trade my 2-3 in to get that 5 damage in. They just want to pass with all 9 of their mana, let me go to combat. I'm going to use Noxion Fervor sometimes. Pray. 
Play nice to you two. You're on the same team. Basically, just don't want them to have the blocker. Try and two damage, make a rain, and keep them from blocking. Threshes the box. So if they block Gangplank, which is the most likely. They take eight and go to one. Alright, got them down to one. One little point of damage. All we gotta do. Oh no, this is where we're gonna start drawing all the one drops because we didn't find one drop early. So this is where we find one drops. Deny is a card. Cool. We just weren't priced into needing to cast that Decimate yet. Yeah, so the reason why I did the make it rain and parlay and stuff like that, I knew that I know that the we already did two damage with the misfortune attack, but that means they would get to block, and I didn't want them to be able to block. And so that's why I was doing the, the make it rain and all that kind of stuff. Try to keep them from blocking. Um I am gonna just keep all of these. Well let's see. If I go Precious Pet on turn one because of Omen Hawk, maybe I don't want Saboteur then. Maybe look for a three drop. I guess, so we didn't have triple one drop. I'm just gonna cast this right now, get the Gangplank ability on their turn before, because like if I play units out, then they can play a new unit that you know, maybe we don't actually kill both of those things. No one's the wiser. Grenadier is better against the 3-3. Three, three. Um, you know, if they'd have the Yeti 3-3, the Trapper, where Disciple would be better against Avaros and Sentry. But, so, just played the Saboteur first to see what they did. This route with these two. More Mason, reporting for duty. You for the men. Everything's in place. Behind you. Let's see what you've got. They kind of need harsh winds to stay alive, but even if they have harsh winds, we still just decimate afterwards. They have like harsh winds and brittle steel. No, 
Oh, GG's. That was a pretty clutch Mega Rain. Yep, nice turn five win. So they didn't have a three drop, but I mean, they had one drop, two drop. They just had to use a frost, you know, they didn't have a three drop, but then they had, and then they had four drops. They had one, two, four. And then we win on turn five before they get to do anything. The burn deck. Probably gonna be more difficult to aggro out this opponent. Both King Plank and Sprayfin are powerful, but I want to try to find some more things to curve out with. This could be a really good Mega Rain again. Still casting it, killing this Bark Beast. I'm not going to let them Ravenous Butcher and, you know, have two four threes and everything like that. We'll just simply block. Um... Could block here for our other Mega Rain. King Plank is three out of five. It's a good card. I was hoping for the other Mega Rain. All right, we had we had three cards we could get two two fervors, one Mega Rain. I was hoping for the other Mega Rain where. We could have Gangplank with um, the Powder Keg next turn, and then pair that with Make It Rain. So now, my, you know, now the question is: Play Gangplank or go Crimson Disciple plus Demolitionist? Which I guess I'd, I'd want to play Grenadier. I think I don't think I play Gangplank. Just let them have the sentry block. Like I don't think I really want them to have the, that free sentry. That sentry block. They've had a four three die. Four out of five. I'll try anyone. Yeah, they had that Butcher. They would have had the Curse Keeper 10 power if I didn't make it rain. Remember the objectives. For the glory of Noxus. I don't know if I fervor Callista. I may just want all this to go upstairs. They're at 11. 
This is six. Grenadier dying is seven. The Gangplank powder keg would be like an eight. Gangplank attacking is a bunch. Um, you know, Sprayfin. You know, Gangplank attacking could be another damage or two. Sprayfin attacking. I may just do all of that instead of kill Callista. I'm going really risky though. I'm going really risky. I guess I probably should have played Grenadier to block instead of the Demolitionist of trying to kill them my next turn. Because basically, I'm trying to kill them on my very next attack. We'll see if we get there. Playing Saboteur, Gangplank, and Fervor this turn. Feels like they may be thinking of what to do with Fury of the North. Basically blocking here because of atrocity. Look what you did. Oh, this hurts. Explosives primed. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me. And Vile Feast is a problem. I mean, I don't know if they have Vile or not. I don't know. It's possible. I should play Grenadier the turn I played the Demolitionist. Splinter. You, you, you will never find peace. Let the villains 
There we go. So yeah, I played I played around the Vile Feast by doing the Noxion Fervor on my 3-2 Legion Grenadier instead of somewhere else. Instead of on the Powder Keg. You know, wanted to play it on the Powder Keg the previous turn. That was kind of my plan, was do four damage to them with that, and then round star we'd create another powder keg. Yeah, turn two, if I didn't play that Mega Rain, we definitely would have died. They had the combo to put 10 power into play. Okay. Fervor can be necessary to deal with um, Zed. I want to have a little bit faster start. Then like, okay, cool. Then like, turn two, play Crimson Disciple. Turn three, d you know, the Demolitionist. And then, you know, I don't have Fervor available at that point. So they can have House Spider. Let's just attack first. Before Crimson Disciple. Well, missed out on two damage. Every damage matters. Twin disciplines would be a problem, but I, I want to like if I do this first before they attack, then then they go twin disciplines, then you know, then I don't have a blocker. At least this way we have a blocker so Zed doesn't level up. But that is I'll try anyone you want. And that is a problem, Zed staying around. I think I should just let Zed level up and just keep going wide. The problem with that is, you know, the Zed's like the 4 3, it blocks super well, but I guess I'd have the Noxion Fervor to do damage to them at that point. This turn doesn't make any sense to block. So Zed's gonna just be leveling up. Dead men tell my tale. It's killing time. The powder keg will do the extra point of damage here with the sabotage. For the saboteur. Punish restraint. Let's do this. Got an axe with your name on it. So if they have like Will of Ionia for the gangplank or a stun card, they go to eight. We're only doing two points of damage. Oh, uh, Whirling Death. 
That's pretty risky. Fortunately, I can't make them pay. It's very risky. would have make a rain there. I guess a make a rain would just be good anyways. Draven out. Damn it. Well that's too bad they had a removal spell for gangplank. That was I was definitely relying on gangplank to get some damage in for me. And two. They had the cards they need to. You know, they needed a twin disciplines. They had that. Then they need a removal spell for gangplank, and they had that. And you know, just also curved out really well with their champions and stuff too. Um, I think normally, I think again, I think that's probably a matchup that's pretty good for us. That that uh, both of the both of those losses, it felt like like those were kind of the only ways that we were losing is our opponent to have that kind of hand. You know, like, they're, they're champions immediately, plus the correct interaction that they needed. Um, so, yeah, our deck felt strong. Like, it, both of those losses, I think, are games that we can win a good amount of the time. Um, but I think this is just a, a good burn deck. You know, if you like fast games, you know, we got our five games in here in 30 minutes. If you like fast games, you like uh, doing a lot of Nexus damage. This deck really wasn't hurt too much with, with the Noxus nerfs. You know, Disciple doing one, of course, does hurt. But Grenadier being a 3-2 is pretty awesome. Um, didn't, you know, didn't really draw Captain Farron. I don't know if Captain Farron's too slow. Certainly, like, there's a lot of options up here. You know, Riptide Rex being another one. Of course, you have to have your Plunder turned on for that thing. Um, we didn't really do anything with Petty Officer either. Not too much, at least. It's possible Island Navigator would be better than Petty Officer. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah, lots of good stuff here with this deck. So there we go. That's a Gangplank Burn. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments. If you want it, like a really quick rank-up deck that's pretty strong, give this one a try. Let me know how it goes. Alright, but thank you so much for watching some Gangplank Burn, and I'll see you for the next video.